Yeah, we're at 14477 Pearl and, uh, excuse me, Southgate. There's work in the front, there's work in the back. I assume this is gonna take a couple of days. Uh, so, this is a landscaping tenor, timber planter box and uh, we're gonna rebuild it. They didn't interlock it. Um, if you don't know how to build them, uh, just to, uh, we'll go over it, but just real quick, they, they're supposed to like interlock. So you like hang them over and uh, you know, you put them, you install them off center or I don't know if off center is the right way to put it, but you just leave some over and then like they interlock in the corners and also at the joints and you screw them together uh, board by board, but then you also um, drill bigger holes in the ends and I suppose you could do it in the center, but at least on the ends and then you drive rebar through. Uh, so we're gonna be taking this, these ones out and you just throw them out and start with new ones. So you can kind of cheat and see how many you need. I see one, two, three, four, five. So 10 there, 20, 30, or 20. Uh, probably like 25 would be more than enough. Uh, and so yeah, about, and you get them from uh, Home Depot. And try to look for ones that aren't all warped because uh, a lot of them are kind of warped. So just try to get the best ones that you, know, you want to use for building. And this back here is less than ideal. Um, she wants a wall built out of these cinder blocks and she's like painting them. And then she wants them, uh, as you can see, they're being painted. And she wants to run it out square from the house and then follow this line here of the concrete. And then run it up here and I try to think of a way that you'll be able to uh, turn it on an angle like that I guess I guess you'll have to cut it with a saw and it's probably not gonna look real good in that area um, so just do the best that you can with it I don't think they're like that concerned with it looking super awesome I think they're more like to do the painting thing and uh, so yeah and then also they like dig it down you know put your sand in I don't think you really have to lev level them I really don't know <laughs> how they're gonna go in but uh, I'm sure you'll figure it out and then she wants a top course staggered so uh, and then so she wants to put dirt in the top of these and plant on them so <clears throat> once that's done you're gonna install uh, topsoil into the bed and I was thinking like this wall isn't going to have much integrity so the topsoil is probably going to fall through the corners and stuff so put a like a layer of or not a layer put a, a weed barrier fabric and like bring it up the wall so it actually like holds the topsoil in uh, that's what i would do and then fill the whole thing with topsoil and then you're going to weed block the top of that and then you're going to fill that with cedar mulch now over here all the sod is going to be cut out and and that's over there too Cut out all the sod. They claimed that this was gonna be gone, but it, it may not be. So you'll have to move the wood and all that. And then all this has to be uh, dug down. This is gonna be a mulch pit, a cedar mulch pit, and cut a line like a natural edge, like through here. And this is all gonna be cedar mulch once you grade it and dig it down. Um, I think dirt's gonna be coming out of this job rather than coming in. Um, but this here, is gonna be new sod once this is cut out and graded. And kind of even in here too, it kind of sucks, it'll have to be done by hand. But uh, this is all gonna be cut out and it's all hilly and there's river rock everywhere. So uh, get it cut out and get you know a good amount of these rocks out. I see there's a fence post here, so be careful there with the sod cutter. Um, this fire pit's being removed. Uh, this whole area is gonna be sodded, but before you do that, there's going to be a three foot wide um, paver walkway and she didn't really select the color so I'll have to ask her I forgot I'll write it in the notes but we're gonna try to match this house um, I think sandstone would actually look good here we'll see um, so yeah 
and it's gonna she wants it to curve to the steps over there and line up with that um, and then uh, there's some fire pit block from ROP they said it takes 19 of them to make a full circle um, the outer diameter is four foot the inner diameter is three foot so you're gonna dig a trench and you know put your slag sand in and you're gonna build a fire pit one course high uh, and she said she wants to move it over a little bit um, I would make paint lines to figure out where all this stuff's going but she said she wanted to um, talk it over or something like that and she's gonna let you know where she wants it to go um, at that time I suggested the walkway butt up against this concrete because um, I thought that would look best uh, but it may be easier to move it over a little bit to get a softer curve and then you might be able to have an easier time paving but uh, anyways that's the whole job and good luck